this is Steve at Air Guns of Arizona's Repair Department. And today we're gonna to be looking at the new Brokaw Commander, replacing the fill valve O-ring. Uh, for those of you that might have issues whenever you're filling your rifle up, if it's leaking air out of that fill valve, you might need to replace the O-ring. So we will take a look at the Commander. Um, and I do wanna reference that the Sniper, uh, it has the same system. So uh, whatever applies to the Commander, it should apply to the Sniper and uh, it's something that uh, you might have to do from time to time uh, whenever you do have issues. So let's go ahead and get started and uh, we'll have to remove the stock and then we'll go ahead and get to the, uh, the, the fill valve. First thing you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and remove the, the handle on the commander here. Uh, on the sniper, you just go through the, uh, the handle uh, with a five millimeter Allen wrench and uh, you'll go ahead and be able to remove the stock screw that way. But on this gun here, the first thing you need to do is You'll need to pop. There's a little hatch here that needs to come open. You can take um, a screwdriver, a flathead, uh, on the back side here. You go ahead and push. That comes open. And then you'll take your five millimeter Allen wrench. And you go ahead and just remove the handle. Once that's removed, you can lay it aside. And what I do here is I just uh, will wiggle the stock back and forth. There you go. As you see, it's just, it's just the center portion of this, uh, the back end, it, it doesn't come off like uh, a traditional stock. It's nice, uh, it's more of a tactical looking gun. The rear end of it collapses and it folds and so it's unique in its own way, the Commander is. Right now we're worried about uh, a leak here, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, You'll see that uh, on this on this rifle, you're gonna have to ha make a tool. Uh, I had to do the same thing. Um, it, it's a tool, basically. Uh, it's like a uh, circlip wrench, but uh, I, or, if these are a little stouter uh, where they're not gonna break. Um, but you'll need a tool that uh, the little pins will go in the holes, and that way uh, you'll be able to unscrew uh, the, the inlet. Um, a lot of the uh, older style rifles you were able to take a, a socket wrench and, uh, and do it th do it that way. Uh, they've changed the uh, the design. Now uh, you have to come up with a, a tool. Once you have the tool, you you'll put the tool in place. Take an adjustable pair of pliers. You you know I've basically on mine I put where I have slots now where I can grab onto it and I can twist and you twist. Once you once you get that loose, you can go ahead and just. Remove, once you remove the inlet valve, that's what we're, that's what we're gonna be playing with right now. And so we'll go ahead and, uh, uh, and the first thing we're gonna do is, is we'll inspect this dowdy seal, making sure that we didn't tear it. Uh, and uh, you'll know if you tore it uh, because uh, whenever you install it, it'll leak from that point. Um, if you happen to need some of these dowdy seals, you can always give us a call and uh, we can uh, go ahead and send you some uh, for a small cost. Uh, but the first thing we're gonna do uh, to replace the O-ring that's inside this unit is uh, you'll need to take a flathead screwdriver. Um, I use uh, one that, that's pretty good size and some of these come off fairly easy and some of them come off extremely hard. I'm gonna see if I can do this by hand. I'm gonna use my tool here I'm going to go ahead and put my screwdriver here in the slot. There we go. And okay, there we go, it popped. Uh, some of them I noticed uh, before that uh, they've had a little bit of Loctite on them, so you might have to put that uh, piece in the vise, this piece right here, uh, don't, and don't squeeze too tight, you don't want to damage it. So um, you, if you have a vise that you can put it in if you're doing this work, uh, then uh, just make sure that you don't damage the piece. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to remove the, the cap that we just unscrewed. Now, inside this cap, there's a little filter. So remember how this goes back together. So inside the cap, there was a filter, okay? Now, there's also a spring here that goes against the filter. And then if we can take a small tool, uh, here's a 1.5 uh, uh, wrench that uh, Allen's wrench that I use uh, it can go in and I can push and you're going to remove the little piston and that's the little piston and that piston that has the o-ring on it uh, you'll see that uh, if you're if you're looking right here the spring 
sets inside a little cup area. So that's where the, uh, the spring is gonna set is inside this cup area right, right here. Um, on the other side, it's just flat. So uh, it's a pretty you know, simple to say that you, you, you don't want the spring to set on the flat area where it moves around. So they've designed it where when the spring goes in, it sets in and it's solid and, and it can't move. So that's how this comes apart. It's like this right here. I'll put it. That's how, that's how it's going to read. So you've got the main piece, get the piston, the spring, the filter, and of course the cap. Uh, and this the little O-ring uh, that you're looking at here is a two by 1.5, and the hardness of that O-ring is a 70. Um, and, uh, and of course we carry the O-rings, but any O-ring company uh, should carry the O-rings as well. So uh, that's something that uh, you should be, be able to replace fairly easy. Uh, I do recommend that when you, when you have it apart, go ahead and, uh, and take a Q-tip, something that uh, you can actually make sure that there's no debris. Uh, you might have particles. If you do have a bad O-ring that's coming apart, you might uh, want to make sure that uh, you clean the inside of that. You can take some air. If you have an air source, you can, you can blow that out. making sure that you got all the particles uh, out and away from uh, the piston and the new O-ring. If you have a new dowdy seal in, on hand, you can go ahead and take that dowdy seal off, put the new dowdy seal on. I recommend uh, if you're putting any kind of seals on, get a small bit of silicone grease and, and put around. And uh, I'm not gonna take this off, but uh, if this was a, we just put the new O-ring on, I would put a little bit, just a, just a, little, just a touch. I don't want it to be thick on there. I don't want it to actually grab dust and dirt whenever you're actually filling the rifle up. So uh, just, a, just a tiny amount uh, and, and that will help it actually drop in place uh, without tearing the O-ring. I will go ahead and put it back in place. Uh, let's go ahead and push that in place here. Okay, that should be in place. We'll go ahead and put the spring back in place. There we go. Now you can lay that there. Here's a little filter. That's gonna, the filter's gonna drop right back in the cup area right there. Uh, and then this right here, I kind of go at an angle and I make sure that the two pieces springs against that whenever I'm screwing this back in, like so. Go ahead and take this, tighten that up. I go ahead and use my tool. I'm gonna do it where I'm gonna hold on to that. I'm gonna take this, tighten that up, okay. If you wanna drop a little bit of like blue Loctite on it or uh, something that's low strength, you can do so whenever you're installing the, uh, the screw on the end of the, uh, the, the valve, valve itself. Once you have everything put together, then it's a matter of taking and where the dowdy seal sits against the uh, inside the block here, uh, you might go ahead and clean that, making sure there's no debris, no dust, no dirt. Again, you might take an air source, blow that out, and then you can go ahead, screw that back into place. This is very easy to do. It's something that, again, anyone can do if they just show a little bit of patience uh, and they have a little bit of time. Um, it's something that uh, uh, I feel you wouldn't need to send your gun in because it's leaking out the, uh, the valve fill port. Uh, again, that's tight. We're ready to go. Um, we're, we'll go ahead and put the stock back together. Uh, it slides on very easy. Line everything up, push that in place. Grab your five millimeter wrench. I go ahead and line that up, put that, get that started, put the handle back in place. So after you uh, lock everything down, uh, just make sure that uh, you put the dust cap back on. That way you don't, of course, don't lose it. And, and you wanna make sure that it's covered if you're in the field. Once that's locked into place, you're good to go. You can go fill the gun and enjoy uh, another day or another round of shooting. 
uh, again, uh, we're looking today at the commander, uh, and I do want to again reference the, the, the fact that uh, the commander and the sniper, uh, they have the same components, so uh, you'll be able to do it on either, either rifle. Uh, again, this is Steve at Air Guns of Arizona, and I thank you for joining me today uh, uh, for this video. Uh, if you'd like, check out uh, some of our videos on our webpage under videos, and you go to playlist. You can uh, look at a variety of different videos, uh, or you can go to YouTube and pull up some of the videos there. Have a great day. Bye.